Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nikki. This channel is iHeartGameDev, a channel focused on game development. Today I want to talk to you about how you can get started on YouTube as an indie dev and why I think you should do it. I'll even throw in the downsides, but there's not many. Before we get going, I really do appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It helps us reach awesome developers just like yourself. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with why. I wanna get this one out of the way first, but making videos on YouTube is a lot of fun. It explores a very similar creative side that making games does. You have to come up with ideas for videos that you think that people would wanna watch. You have to put in the time and effort to making the video edited very well, and if you don't, then maybe it won't do as well, you know? And it ends up just being another creative outlet. Rather than consuming, we are making. I think that making videos is also super rewarding. You're helping people by making tutorials, you're entertaining them by making devlogs, and again, you're just exploring this creative side of yourself and putting it out there for the world to see. And this leads me to one of the most important things you can do as a game developer, and that's build your community, build your audience. At the beginning of 2020, I released a trailer for a game that I was working on, and that was seen by no one. And that's okay because it was a learning experience. I learned that if you don't have an audience or a community of people to show your work to, that it's probably just gonna get lost in the mix. There's so many people out there who are making games now and it's really hard to stand out among some of these amazing developers. But by taking the time to build a community of people who are already interested in your work, because you're helping them with tutorials or you're entertaining them with devlogs, you can almost guarantee that by the time that you release a trailer for your game, you're already gonna have an audience of people interested in your work. So not only is making videos fun, not only are you helping people by making tutorials and entertaining them by making devlogs, and not only are you building a community, but you're also getting immediate feedback on your work. Let's say that you release a devlog and there's a good amount of feedback saying that you could be doing something a different way or people would like it if you did it this way. That could push you in the right direction for your game because at the end of the day, a lot of these people are going to be the players for your game and they want you to make the best possible game that you can. And one of the last things that I wanna say is that you're journaling your experience as a developer. You can look back on the stuff you made six months ago, a year ago, three years ago, and you can say, wow, look how far that I've come in just a short amount of time. Okay, so those are a few of the reasons why. Let's talk about a couple of the drawbacks. It does slow down the learning process quite a bit because if you're going to make a tutorial, I highly suggest that you know what you're talking about before you actually release it. And if you're making something like a devlog, it does take time to make the video itself. And now let's talk about one of the biggest ones, which is criticism, which is actually not a downside. It's just something that you have to accept. There are going to be people who do not like you or your content, and that is not to be taken personally. It's just the way that it is. There's millions of people in the world. There are thousands of people who are going to see your content. There are going to be a few people who just don't like what you have to make. And that is okay. But let's say that you work on a video and you put a lot of time into it and it just isn't what people wanted to see. That's okay. It's a learning process. You'll learn what people actually are interested in. You'll learn what people don't like seeing and you'll probably tailor your content away from that. Or you won't, and more power to you. But yes, working hard on a project and putting it out there for the world to see and then getting negative feedback is hard. Again, that's not a downside, it's just something that you have to be prepared for. Okay, so we've talked about why you should consider making a YouTube channel, a few of the downsides. Now let's talk about how to get started. Now, a lot of people would tell you to just start, but I think that having a plan is more important. You should consider what type of YouTuber you want to be and what content you want to put out. My channel has been focused on tutorials, and so far I've found a lot of success in that. But there are also people like Danny who make very entertaining videos and have found incredible success there. But the beauty here is that this is all about you. It's literally called YouTube. So this is about whatever you want to do, and you can find your own niche by trying different things and eventually finding what you like to do or going in with this plan of, I wanna make tutorials, I wanna make devlogs, and seeing how that goes. And I do think that finding your own niche is very important. Like for me, I found animation in Unity. That was something that wasn't very covered, or at least not as thoroughly as that I had hoped, and I figured that if I was looking for tutorials that covered it in more depth, then other people are probably looking for the same thing. So if I make the tutorials, there's probably an audience of people just waiting for that content. 
And I think you can do the same thing. Like another example is Sam Yam, who is making tutorials on the new player input system. She found something that not many people have covered. And she's already found her own audience of awesome devs just like you guys who are also interested in her content. So yeah, I think that finding your own niche will really help you build a community or an audience of people interested in your content. Next, let's talk about tools of the trade. What do you need to get started? You can just use your phone for your camera. I know that a lot of the newer phones actually have amazing cameras, but what I do recommend is getting a microphone. There's a big difference in quality between talking to my camera and talking to my microphone. Once you have the hardware, you also need the software. And I know that a lot of people use Audacity. I'm using it right now. I'm looking at it as it records. What's great about Audacity is that it's free. It's a free recording software that you can use to record your audio. For video editing, I use Final Cut Pro X, which is a paid program made by Apple. But I know that there's DaVinci Resolve, which is also free for both Mac and Windows. So yeah, with just a few programs and a mic, I think you have everything you need to get started. Now, at the very beginning, it's really hard to get people to find your content because you don't have any subscribers. But there are so many outlets that you can use to actually find an audience pretty quick. To start, there are a lot of Facebook groups, and I would recommend that if you make a video, you should probably share it with as many of those groups as you possibly can. And that's how I found a lot of success at the very start. Next is Reddit, and getting seen on Reddit is incredibly important, but it's also incredibly difficult. Having people upvote your content is honestly luck of the draw a lot of the time. I have found that making a clip of the video and sharing that clip and a link to your video is more beneficial to you on Reddit than just sharing a link to your YouTube video itself. So people want to see the video, they don't want to see the thumbnail, if that makes any sense. Obviously there's Twitter and there's TikTok, which are two other alternative social media platforms where you can post your content. I have personally found more success on Facebook and Reddit, but I think that growing a community on any of these social media platforms is just as important as it is on YouTube. So yeah, while it does take a lot of time to post on all these social media platforms, I wouldn't have the audience that I currently do without them. Now, when it comes to making videos, I think that you just want to have fun, whatever that may be for you. And that'll help you find the niche that we were talking about earlier. I find that making tutorials is a lot of fun because I like learning. I really enjoy that experience of not knowing something, struggling a lot with it because let me tell you, I do. And then eventually understanding something enough that I can teach it to other people. But I also think that making devlogs can be just as much, if not more fun, of making the game that you always wanted to make or trying to make it and sharing that experience with other people. Or maybe you're interested in the stuff on the asset store and you want to make reviews or maybe you're interested in making game jam videos. As long as you're having fun, I think that a lot of people can share in that experience and that they'll have a similar feeling of excitement and fun that you do. And the last piece of advice I have about starting is just starting now. There's no better time to get started on YouTube than there is right now. And I think that if you get started and you're persistent, that eventually you can build an audience of people who care about the stuff that you make. So to wrap this all up, I hope that this video shared a few of the benefits of starting your own YouTube channel as a game dev. And I hope that it gave you a good idea of what you need to get started. Obviously, I can't wait to share more videos with you on my channel, but if you have your own channel, you can share them in the comments. And if you want to join this growing community, you're invited to join the channel Discord, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.